today I'm here with a new video and today I am doing something new. If you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruelty-free YouTuber that does a lot of makeup and today it's no different and I'm going to try something new today. Sometimes when I don't know what to do, I ask my boyfriend like, what do you think I should do? And he said maybe you can do like old looks with new palettes and I'm 100% sure that people has already done this but I haven't and I want to do it. So I went through my Instagram and picked out some looks that I wasn't that happy with that I want to try to do better and looks that like didn't came out the way I thought and I'm going to try to do them in the way I wished they were. Do you know what I'm getting with this? <laughs> I guess you do, so I think we just get started. And for my first look I'm going to try to do this look <laughs> better and try to have it as I want to. If you don't know which look this is, I guess you don't do not know because it was a while since I did it. This is my first look in my zodiac series I did 2019 I think and I did a series with the zodiac palette from Colourpop and I used each and every shade on the month that the zodiac sign is. So in January it was the Capricorn and this is a black, maybe I can show you the shade it's this one, so this is a black with some gold sparkles in it. And I wished that it was like a black smoky eye with like gold gold specks in it. But the specks, they disappear when you blend. So I'm going to do a black smoky eye today and then I'm going to put something gold over. And I'm not going to use this palette. <laughs> I do not really know what kind of gold I want to use, but the eyeshadow palette I'm using is the Infinity Deep from Linda Holberg. I like always use this when I'm doing a smoky eye. So I'm going to use Lightyear and Fornax. So that is for like smoky eye and I don't know with the gold. I'm thinking about taking this one also from Linda Holberg. This is the Interstellar. This is a liquid multi-use product that is gold and I think I'm going to try to put it over the black. I've tried it once, it failed miserably. miserable. It didn't work. Miserable. Miserable. Should say English is not my first language. I failed with that. So I'm going to try it today again. So it's going to be like two new... I'm going to try to redeem myself. If this doesn't work, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I should have a gold topper somewhere, I just don't know where. So I am just going to zoom in and we get started. So I'm going to start with light here in my crease and, and this is like my favorite palette to use when I'm doing a smoky eye. I actually do some smoke guys like outside of YouTube. <laughs> I know when I started with makeup I really loved the look of the smoke guy. And I tried it and I failed, tried it and I failed, tried it and I failed. But then it was like the more I played with other things when it come to makeup like other colors, I just finally got a hang of it. Maybe I shouldn't say that now before the look is done. But I don't know, I think the trick is, or for me, it's taking a black shadow that isn't that intense. I think that was like the thing I did in the beginning and I didn't work. Because like you need to have a black that you can build up, it makes it so much easier. Because you can always take more when it comes to makeup. 
it's hard to make it less. When you put it down, it is there. So maybe that is my tip for a smoky eye to have not a super intense black because you just make it harder for yourself. And I just love this light here. I think it's such a good shade and I love to build it up kind of intense. I think it might be this one I used when I did a zodiac look. can't remember. So, and then I'm going in with a clean brush. So I'm going in with Fornax, the black one. And this is also in the Infinite palette, the original. So I'm going to start down on my lid. And this brush was a little bit too big. And I'm just building it up. To my crease but I'm not taking it in my crease not just yet and I also tap the brush off a little bit because I don't want it to be too black in the beginning I love it if I would fail this <laughs> no one like I gotta hang off the smoke guys and I really hope that this liquid shadow will work on top of this I don't know if it will. I saw Annette's video when she tried out um, the new liquid multichromes from Lethal and I was like, oh my god. It is like something with liquid shadows. I really want to use them and I really want to like learn to use them but With me, I have no patience when it comes to learning new stuff. Like, if I can't do it from the beginning, I just hate it. I'm like that with everything. Everything new. So I'm guessing that is the reason why I don't do eyeliner. Because you have to practice for that and I don't have the patience for that. And I know I need like a base and brows and mascara because this looks really intense. But yeah, I don't, this is not like pitch black, but I do not want it pitch black. And I'm just blending the things, the things. I just blending from what I have on my lid up to my crease. Maybe th this is not perfect. And I'm usually also going in with my crease shade, tap it off, and then take it just to make the blend as good as I can. So, something like this. It works so <laughs> I will do it on the other eye and then we will go in with liquid shadow and yes I am nervous about this so both lids are done with the smoky and now I'm going into this <laughs> did my voice crack a little bit and like I don't even know should I I have a brush here <sighs> should I put it directly on my eye no I don't think so I put the shade on my hand okay so here we go and I take some on the brush I like don't even know what brush to use and I just want this I don't want this to cover the black I just want this to lay over and okay I like, I'm afraid that I'm going to take the black away and I actually think that I am doing that and I think I need more. <sighs> I 
Maybe I, should, maybe I should just have taken the gold topper shade that I had in my collection. Maybe. Maybe I have to do a second try on revamping this look. It's like I don't want to drag it, but like I don't want it to be too much. It feels like I've lost the black closest to my lashes. So if I put a little bit more of this on. Like I don't know if hooded eyes and liquid eyeshadow is the best combo. Feels like I have too much out here. <sighs> panic, 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 panic. Dance. Fuck. Fucking poop. What have I done? This is not good. Okay, like I don't know how much of the black that is still under this and do you see out there not good and it feels like this I've tried now it's like I can't do anything about that I don't like the outer part of the lid I don't know if you can see it on the view or I can't see it in the viewfinder because I need to look this I think you can see that it is like a big blob out here and then on the rest of the lid I think it's kind of good but this one annoys me that it has like dried down and I don't want to drag it too much because I still want the black underneath okay is this how I wanted the first look to be I actually don't know, but I, it went better now than the last time I tried this liquid shadow. I didn't even put up this video because I was so mad at it. And okay, I'm going to do the other eye. And yeah. I don't know, do I have too much on my brush? And should I just tap it around? Maybe I should have watched some more videos with liquid eyeshadows. Maybe I should just have gone to Millie and check out how she's doing this. Because that I liked with Annette's video. That she's a beginner, just as I am with this. So it like felt good. To see that it's not only me that struggles, but maybe it's not a good idea to, uh, <laughs> like, I couldn't take any tips from her because he's also not used to this. And she also said that in that video, like, don't use this. If you want to know how to use it, watch Millie. But okay, maybe, maybe from afar? It looks better. I don't know. But it feels like I've lost all the black underneath. I... Can somebody please tell me if it's possible to put like this over another? I think it would. And I have like a crazy amount of shade of the interstellar on my thumb. So, do you know what? I don't think I can save this more I don't know though if I'm afraid that this is going to crease like crazy I don't know if it's dried yeah. it actually is so okay I'm going to take away <laughs> fix my base and then we will see if it feels better when I have everything else on maybe maybe not it feels a little bit better now. I think I start to like it. So I'm going to do something under my eyes. And I will take Lightyear and also Fornax. And then I think I will take Solar in my inner corner. Because I do not feel comfortable to take that one. Because I think it's going to be a blob. And with my luck I'm 
probably going to have it in my eye. So just start with Fornax. No. Lightyear. And then I'm taking Fornax on a pointer brush and tapping it off because I don't want too much black under my eye. And then just like closest to my lash line. And a little goes a long way. And I take Solar, this one in my inner corner. I think this might be a little bit warmer than the Interstellar, but just want a little pop of something to not make it like too black. So, I'm just taking something in my waterline, put on a lippy mascara, and then I come back. This is the finished look. For my waterline, I used Orly, or, Ori, Ori Flutter from Linda Holberg. And on my lips, I used Colourpop's together with Sophia Nygaard Fred. And like, I, I usually don't use bullet lipsticks. <laughs> this is why, because I... I don't know people that like, I like bullet lipsticks more than liquid lipstick. Like, how can you be able to control this to get like a good shape? Because I can't, but I tried. So this is my retake on this look. And I like this look so much more. This is much more what I wanted the first look to be. <laughs> I don't know about this. The only thing I like, it's it's dried down and I do not have any creasing. I was a little bit afraid of that. But like, I think this, I think I would like this more if I just put this on with nothing under. You can still see the black, but it felt like some of the black disappeared. And I guess that is what happens. I don't know. But I like the look, so... Yeah, this is my retake of my old Capricorn Zodiac, the Zodiac Capricorn look. I like this much more. This is so much more me. This is what I wanted, somewhat what I wanted. So I really hope you like this video. And if you want me to continue do these, like retakes on older looks that I think I can do better or that just didn't turn out the way I wanted, or maybe I can like try to recreate looks that I have done with limited edition palettes and take palettes that are um, not limited edition but that I have in my collection. Please let me know I yeah just <laughs> please let me know what you think. But yeah that was all for this video I really hope you liked it and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos. I'm going to say this again I said it in one of my latest videos, like, I'm trying to find a YouTube thing that works for me because I'm not in a super good place <laughs> in my mental health or I'm not in a super good place right now, so I'm trying to find out what works for me. So yeah, I will see you when I see you. I hope you like this video and yeah, bye!